Hello friends and welcome to how to install swim aka the best horse mod ever. This tutorial also works for other mods as well, so let's jump into it. Step number one is to have Minecraft Java. Before you ask, you cannot use Swem on Bedrock Edition. This includes Minecraft you play on your phone, Xbox and iPad. You must have the PC version, which you can get for both Windows and Mac. Step number two is to download Forge. Go to the link in the description to pull up this page. It should say downloads for Minecraft Forge MC 1.16.5. This is very important. This does not work on any other Minecraft version. Now on the download latest, you're gonna go ahead and click installer and this ad page will pop up. Do not fear because in the top right hand corner, once you have waited five seconds, a skip button will appear. Go ahead and click that and the download will begin. Now you will get this warning coming up. Do not worry, this is simply because your PC does not know where you have gotten this jar file from and as long as you have gotten it from the official Forge site, this is perfectly fine. Go ahead and click keep. Step number three is to install Forge. Now what you're going to do is click the jar file that you just downloaded and this will pop up. Make sure that install client is selected, then hit OK. Once it is finished, a message will pop up that will confirm that it has installed successfully. Then once again, you can hit OK. Step number four is to run Forge. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher and once it is loaded, you will see in the bottom left hand corner, the latest release. Go ahead and click that and you should see your Forge 1.16.5 install. Go ahead and select that, then hit play. Don't worry when this pops up, this is simply Forge making sure it's installed correctly. And if everything has worked correctly, you will get to the Minecraft title screen, where in the bottom left you will see this text that basically confirms that Forge is indeed running. Step number five is to download Swem, aka the actual mod. You can find the link down in the description below, which will take you to this Curse Forge page. Now you will click onto Files, and make sure you download the most recent. Go ahead and click download. And this warning will pop up for the swim mod as well. Do not worry, Just go ahead and hit keep. Step number six, download Gecko Lib and Player Animator. When you go back to the main Curse Forge page for Star Worm Equestrian, in the description section, you will see that it says this mod requires Gecko Lib and Player Animator. This is important, this mod will not run without these two. So I'm going to go ahead and open a Gecko Lib page and now follow my instructions very carefully. Go into Files. Now, once you are here, you're going to scroll down and find under the game version table, the 1.16.5. Now make sure that it specifically says over in the name section, Gecko Lib Forge. There is a fabric version that we do not want. So go ahead and make sure that when you're installing, you get the Forge. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download file. While that's downloading, I'll go ahead and go back to the Star Worm Equestrian page and go ahead and open a page for Player Animator. We'll do the exact same thing here. We'll go Files and then we'll scroll down until we see 1.16.5. Now make sure you get the Forge version and not the Fabric, which is above it. Go ahead and go across and hit Download File. Step number seven, find your Minecraft folder. Once you have downloaded those three mods, you can close that off. And now you're going to go to your PC search bar. In the search bar, you are going to put exactly percentage app data percentage. Exactly this, no uppercase, no other signs, just this. The best match will come up as a file folder. Go ahead and click that. And as we can see, right at the very top is .minecraft. Double click to go into that. This is also where you can find your screenshots if you didn't know. But in this file, we should be able to see a mods folder. Do not panic if you can't see this. You simply need to make one. Just go ahead, right click, add new folder and call it mods, all lowercase. Now that you have a mods file, go ahead and double click that. And in here is where we're going to put our mods. To do this, I like to open a second file explorer. 
go to my downloads and here is where you can find the three files that we need. Go ahead and select all three and drag them across. Step number eight is to launch Minecraft and enjoy. If you have followed this tutorial correctly, once you open your Minecraft launcher, the Forge version should still be selected. Go ahead and click play. And when you are on the title page in the bottom left hand corner, you should still have the Forge text, but this time it will say five mods loaded. From here, you can go ahead and go into your single player world, create a new world and enjoy playing. Once again, this tutorial will work for any mod, just make sure that you have enough capability in your PC to actually run all of the mods that you have installed. Let me know in the comments if you need any help, and you can also find all the mods I use in a mod pack listed on my website, linked below. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye